Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another fun video. Today I'm unboxing the new release by Art by Marlene. I always get a great feedback when I am using products by Art by Marlene and uh, this collection is no exception, full of color, really happy vibes and in this specific collection she has a theme. It's called Archie Arabia and it is really unique. Her products sell out really fast always, so make sure to check out the link down below. They are all available at Joggles at the moment. So let's start with her pattern papers. This is the first time Marlene comes out with papers. She has four different papers. They are all double-sided, very nice, thick quality, perfect if you are a scrapbooker. You can even cut out pieces as backgrounds for your cards. But for many other projects as well, I like to cut out pieces and pieces from uh, big pattern papers that I can use on my art journal. And always remember this is Original Art by Marlene. In the new collection you will also find two new collage paper pads. In each one of them you will find 20 pages, that's uh, 10 patterns, for every pattern you get twice the design. So 20 in total. Now you will find lovely designs. When you cut out this paper, this is very thin, it's collage paper, that means that when you stick it on top of your projects, it's not going to have any dimension, it's going to lay completely flat and it kind of binds with the rest of the project. Now, uh, you can see on the outside all the designs and for the other part, you will find inside bits and pieces from the main big pattern papers. So you see that it's the same art, but in a collage form. Just like in every collection, she always comes up with a new art journal, so in case you have your other art journal completely full, here is another one. You will find that it has at the front a lovely little uh, Ziploc pocket. You can keep uh, your uh, stamped images, your cutouts, your bits and pieces there. The same quality as always with Art by Marlene, nice thick watercolor paper. It takes any medium really nicely and it doesn't warp at all. Now, if you like this kind of paper, you can get it in a pad. This works great with watercolors again, with uh, acrylic paints, with acrylic marker. You can use anything you can spray on top. And it is also great, I love it, for creating uh, backgrounds for my cards as well. It's a ring-bound journal, which means that you can take out the pages, work on them and put them back together. And there is also an elastic to keep everything together. In this collection you will also find two new sets of watercolors. Both of them give you six pans in a lovely tin case and uh, one of them is sparkly. This is the one that is sparkling. This is an unboxing video, I haven't used them yet. But you can see that they come with six colors in each of those cases. The pans are quite big. You also get watercolor paper for swatches. There are also two brushes. This is a flat one and it is quite hard. And the second one is a watercolor one that is very fine tip and very soft. There is also that sponge there. You can actually take them out if you want to work with them separately. And if you notice at the cup, you will find three little areas where you can mix your color. If you want me to create swatches, if you want to see these colors in action, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video review with the project. You can see the tin that they come in is really nice and sturdy. So I'm going to put those aside and let's take a look on some other products. And now let's move on to my favorites. These are the paper elements. I have been using lots and lots of them from the previous collection and did make a mini art journal where you see me playing with them all the time. And um, you can see all the beautiful designs. For every design you get two of them, so you don't have to fight with yourself on which project you are going to use it. There are uh, uh, more than 250 elements inside. All you have to do is just pop them, they are already cut out for you. They do, some of them do have a little bit of a border, some of them don't have at all, so you can play with your scissors if you want to avoid any borders. You can see there are many, many different designs. Many of them are mainly in the RG Arabia style. I do have a video coming up next after this one where you will see lots and lots of them in action. 
Along with the cutouts, I always like to use the sticky quotes. There are tons of sticky quotes in this little booklet. You will find the same quote in white and black. And I'm just checking out uh, these black pages. I couldn't really understand what that was. But check that out. When I peel off, you will end up having a little splash. There are many different designs on this page. It's really hard to show them to you on camera. I absolutely love these ones. And they come both in black as well as in white. In the upcoming video after this one, you will see many of those quotes being used in my mini art journal. I know from experience and from the previous collections that uh, her cutouts, the booklet with the cutouts, as well as the booklet with the quotes, are the three products that sell out super fast. So if you want to grab them, make sure to move quickly. Now let's take a look at the stamps of this collection all of them in the theme of Archie Arabia. You can find really unique designs here, like the camels, for example, and you can see at the back the colored images, so you can take an idea of what you can do. Now, this is a really fun guy, and I'm absolutely going to use him on one of my art journals. Lots of patterns, lots of patterns. And if you follow my videos by now, you probably know that I have tons and tons of stamps. And when I find uh, stamps with new designs, th things that uh, I don't really have in my stars and uh, they are really unique, I absolutely love them. And that's why I love uh, Art by Marlene so much, because everything is really unique. So you can see that some of the designs, you can find them in the cutouts. Of course, if you get the stamp, you can color it any color you like, and they are in a different uh, size. If you want to allocate just a little bit of time every day or every week to create a little page without um, spending a lot of time, then I would suggest you get the pads so you can pop up all the little images and just create a page super quickly. If you want to play more than just grab the stamps, then you will have um, the ability to color any color you like and with lots and lots of different mediums. So here are some really exotic flowers, again, very unique flowers, and I have tons and tons of them in my stash, but I really love these ones. And finally, let's take a look at the dies, really intricate small dies. I think that they would make a lovely Arabian village. Of course, Marlene is very famous for her mandalas, and again, you get ties with mandalas, these wonderful lanterns. And finally, this is super unique. I absolutely love this window, and I know that you can actually use this one to create a really unique shape of a card. I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see these are actually three different dies. One that cuts out the outline, the other one that has all that beautiful intricate design, and uh, the inside. Now, this can be a mirror, it can be a door, it can be a window, it can be anything you like, really, or it can be an actual house, depending on how you use it on your pages. I think this is really beautiful. I'm so excited and I will be working with it in one of my pages. And let's take a look at some of the new stencils. All of them quite large, so they work both for art journaling as well as for card making or other projects. You can see in this stencil you get three different designs depending on which area you use. This is an amazing stencil. I absolutely love this design, super unique. I'm probably sure that you don't have something like it in your stash. Then one of those mantalas, it can be a flower. Great, this one is great for creating uh, really subtle uh, backgrounds and I think it matches pretty much any design, it doesn't have to be something about Arabia. And then again another one really unique with those lovely patterns. I absolutely love this one down there. And of course I can use this one separately and create little borders. Now here is another one that combines many different patterns, some exotic flowers as well as patterns that you can use again and again. And you can tell that I am super excited about the new collection. I am always excited when Marlene comes up with new products, just because they are so unique. Now there are even more products in the collection. I am not going to show them to you today. I am going to keep them for another video. But I'm going to put here a few of the projects that I did for my mini art journal so you get an idea of what is coming up on the next video using the cutouts from the pad as well as the sticker quotes. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget all these products are now available at Joggles and you will find the links down below.
Thank you.